on average, people earn $200 to $600 per IQ point. However, the lower the IQ, the more sensibly people spend their money. Hi, welcome to Psych2Go, I'm Anita Ramirez. Humans have always connected intelligence and wealth. To succeed, students are always being advised to go to the top universities like Yale, Harvard, and Stanford, Cambridge. However, these have disgustingly low admission rates. But what is the correlation between wealth and intelligence, and how is intelligence quantified? A study was conducted in 2007 by research scientist Jay Sikorsky at Ohio State University. The study allowed an in-depth look into the financial history and circumstances of 7,500 people between the ages of 33 and 41. All test subjects had taken an intelligence exam known as the Armed Forces Qualification Test in 1980s, which can be translated into IQ scores. They also had their personal financial information analyzed. Hi, do you remember the test you did in the 1980s? You do? That's fantastic. Can I have your financial information? Sigorsky found that each IQ point is associated with 202 to 616 more dollars per income per year. However, the study showed that those with low to average IQs have accumulated more wealth in their lifetime because they lived simpler lives and spent less. From this, Sikorsky concluded that those with higher IQs earn more money in the short term, while those with average or below average IQs don't squander their money and live a much more tranquil life than their more intelligent counterparts. The investigation attempts to draw a line between IQ and wealth. However, there are many unaccounted for variables which screw this test over. One of them being, IQ tests are not a very good way of measuring intelligence. There are hundreds of things about a person's personality and potential to succeed in life which cannot be measured in an IQ test. Additionally, there are different kinds of intelligence. Your abilities could be more social-based, or art-based, or language-based. Intelligence is too broad of a term to limit with an IQ test. These different skills, for example, the ability to be able to connect with someone, are very significant in predicting financial success. Finally, the tested group is too small to be able to apply to all of humanity. The investigators stated that this study reminds us that if you have a low IQ, you are not handicapped, and if you have a high IQ, you do not have an advantage. What do you think it takes for someone to be successful? Tell me what you think in the comments section below, and make sure to check out our channel for more Psych2Go videos.